Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartman from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to customize my water logo After Effects template. To get started let's open up the After Effects project, if I go to File and choose Open Project, then navigate to your water logo folder and just choose the water logo AEP file and click Open. If you get this information that After Effects uh, must convert this project, then this is no error. It just means that this project was created with an older version of After Effects. Just click OK and everything should work fine. If you get any warnings that footages are missing, then please come up to our project window and open up the Assets folder and inside the pre-renders you see that we have a bunch of PNG sequences and MOV files here and it can happen that After Effects loses track of these files. If you run into any of these problems, simply right click on the file that is missing and then choose Replace Footage with a file then navigate to the folder wherever you downloaded the template and then open up the footage folder, open up the assets folder, the pre-renders folder and then you can choose whatever you just selected. In this case it was water 1 li1 so I would go into water here and I see here right on top there is the first image and it is enough if you select the first image make sure that PNG sequence is selected and then you can just click import. And if everything works fine, After Effects will find the other assets automatically. So now let's get started with the customization. The customization process is really easy and really fast. So the first step is to import your logo. To import your logo, you select File and then you go to Import File. Now let's navigate to a folder where we can find a logo. In this case, I will use my logo and just import this Illustrator file. Then make sure that you are inside the logo composition. If it's not already open in the timeline, you can find it right here and just open it up by double clicking. Now select the logo file, drag it on top of our placeholders here. In my case, it's a little bit too big, so I will press S on my keyboard and scale it down. Make sure that your logo stays within this green box. If it exceeds the screen box, it will still work, but maybe look a little bit weird. So if your logo is too big, then just scale it down a bit. Uh, you can always go to the render composition and check the result and then come back and update the position of your logo. So in my case, the logo is still a little bit too big, so I will scale it to 45%. Then I will move it up a bit and I will disable my placeholder here. Select the text layer here. And now you can, of course, enter your own subtitle. Therefore, you can double click. Now you can enter your title. I do not want to change this title. I will just reposition it and make it a little bit smaller. And with my text layer selected, I come to my character panel and then I just change the size a bit, something like this. And with my arrow keys, I will reposition this quickly. And let's say that I'm satisfied with this logo. Now I can move on to the audio composition. You can, of course, enter an audio file. Uh, if you want to use the same audio file that I used in the preview video, you can find a link to this audio file right inside the water logo folder. And there is a folder called links. If you open this up and follow this link, you can get the audio from Audio Jungle. To import your audio, the same step as for the logo. Just choose File, Import, choose Import File, then navigate to the folder wherever your audio is saved, select the file and click Import. I will skip this for now. After you imported your audio, you can just drag it into the audio composition and that's it. Now let's move on to the render composition and let's take a look what options we have to change the style of this template a little bit. Therefore, I have two layers in this composition. The first one is the color correction layer and here I applied a simple color correction and then I have the look setup. So to change the look of this template, simply select the Look Setup layer and make sure that your Effect Controls panel is visible. If it's not visible right here, you can come to Window and then activate your Effect Controls panel right here. If we take a look at the Effect Controls panel now, you see that we have a bunch of different color controls. 
The first kind of control that you have is the water color. With this control you can change the look of the waters. So if I want to change this I can click here on this little icon and then I can come in here and maybe change this to something a little bit purple. And you see that now After Effects will update the look. This is maybe a little bit too strong, so make it a little bit brighter, something like that, a bit darker. Okay, looks quite good. Then we can, of course, also change the logo watercolor, and we do not see this right now. If I move my time marker here, my time indicator to around, let's see, I think I have to move it, yeah, right here. Right in between 9 and 10 seconds I can see my water logo and now I take over the color from my watercolor. So just select this little icon here, the eyedropper tool, and then click on this color and you will see After Effects will take over the color and now these two colors should match. In some cases, depending on what colors you use, you may have to apply a little bit of a different color to the logo water to match these but in my case here if I change the resolution to full I think that they blend in nicely yeah looks very good now I can come in here and change the color of the particles as well so let's take over this color again but in this case the particles are a little bit too dark so I will brighten them up like so then we can take a look at the light color so select the light color and let's change this also to something a little bit like particles maybe. Now let's move on to change the background color and therefore I will take maybe something a little bit more bluish. So let's make this a little bit darker and a bit brighter here. Like so. Doesn't look too bad. And now for my second background color which is the color down here I can select the same color right here and then just make this darker, really dark to get some nice contrast here, something like that. And now I can come to my color correction layer and I can turn this off and then we will see what we have here. And now if you want you can use the color correction that I used. This will add a little bit of a greenish touch as you see. But you can of course also come in here and play around with these curves settings and create your own color correction. So this is totally up to you. But for now I think that this looks quite good. And actually, this is it with the customization process. So I really hope that you like this template, uh, create some cool intros with it. If you have any questions, then please contact me through my video hive profile or through my website, which is www.graphicinmotion.com. I thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Audio jump. Audio jungle.